During this video, we're introducing you to the five main types of interview question that you're likely to come across. For each of these types, we've recorded a student attempting the question as a before video, and then having given them some coaching and some top tips, which we're gonna share with you, giving the opportunity to have another go, so the after video. So Daniel, what is it important for us to know about you? Um, there's a lot to know about me. I think there's a lot that I a lot that I do which can help with the role. I think there's a lot of things about me that, that are quite good. Um, yeah, there's a lot I'd say, yeah. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that are good. Um, yeah. There's a lot of things. Yeah. The tell me about yourself question. This sort of question is really common. Don't be surprised if you're asked something like this. Variations on the question include things like, tell me something interesting about yourself, or maybe what should I know about you? Make sure you answer the question you're actually asked, of course. And don't assume you've been asked the question that you'd like to be asked. So these questions aren't designed to trip you up and they're very commonly the first question or so that you're asked in an interview and they're used by recruiters to relax you and ease you in. Theoretically, we should all find it quite easy to talk about ourselves, shouldn't we? So that's really the reason for putting it at the beginning. It's really an opportunity for the recruiters to understand what makes you tick, what your key motivators and drivers are, to get a picture of how you see your brand. They also want to know whether you've got a sort of an alignment of your values with theirs and their organisations and the team that you might be joining. Also, it's a good way to gain insight into your self-awareness and to see how you can deal with ambiguity, of course, because it is a very broad question. So there's various ways of tackling these sorts of questions. My main thoughts about this are assume that you'll be asked something along these lines and plan accordingly. In that planning, identify what are the positive traits or characteristics that you want to highlight, one or two which would serve you best in this particular role. Decide what the key message is that you'd want to convey about yourself and choose an appropriate story which will deliver that message. Decide on a simple structure to ensure that you don't want but also use your storytelling skills to bring it to life. Really, you need to think about how do you want the interviewer to be feeling about you at the end and what's the memory they're going to take away from that answer. While watching this after video, see if you can notice how the candidate is applying some of the tips we've given you. See also if you can identify how they could do even better. And finally, ask yourself what you would do differently if you tackled this or a similar question. So. What's it important for us to know about you? I'd say it's quite important to know that I'm quite passionate about the things that I do. So I have an interest in cybersecurity and I've always enjoyed things like computer science and that's kind of translated into the work that I've done previously. So for example, I've worked at John Lewis before and they have a high level of customer service, things like that. They enjoy um, having their, their staff there, making sure that the customers are happy with the service, things like that, and that kind of translates to the people side of things that I, that I enjoy as well. I, I consider myself a people's person. So even though it is a weird combination, most think, people think with the computer science, people want to just be locked in a room, but I, I enjoy speaking with clients and, and discussing issues and problems and making sure they get solved. Here are some more examples of students attempting this type of question. Again, see how far they use the tips that we've given you to make it an effective answer and think again about how you would do it differently. So Peter, talk me through your CV. Um, it's sort of a brief overview of how I tried to sort of direct my career from, from my GCSEs onwards really towards getting into engineering. Um, I started with design and sort of construction and as I got towards college realised that that probably wasn't going to be the easiest way I could go about getting into construction. So I started looking at development and sort of redeveloping underdeveloped or sort of areas that are lacking infrastructure mostly um, and went and did a placement with Bechtel who's predominantly an engineering firm but carry the process from sort of like procuring the project to handing it over um, and they were sort of brilliant at helping me streamline how I was going to go about that and they put me with project management and I I was with them for two years and I'd done Crossrail Northern Nine extension and a bit of work in sort of not overseeing their project but shadowing the people overseeing the project in Saudi um, and it helped me realise that it kept me quite driven that I could still be involved in an engineering sector without actually being an engineer mm -hmm. um, and I've tried to carry that forward with the work I've done since and sort of 
even the way I've gone about assignments since I've been at university. Sort of been trying to bring that aspect in, so at least like when I'm sat in an interview or having to talk to someone about it, I can sort of say, oh well, even something that was completely unrelated, you can still bring in. And I think trying to get as broad a set of experience in work and with my degree as well has helped me do that. Okay, thank you very much. So Jessica, tell me something about yourself. So I think um, one interesting thing about myself is that I've lived in four different countries. Um, I lived in America, England, Uganda and Belgium. And uh, by living in these different countries, um, I've gained uh, cultural awareness. Um, So I find it really interesting going to different countries and experiencing different cultures and meeting new people, people who may come from a completely different background to myself. Um, And for this, the importance of this in a job such as the one that you're offering is that um, I've gained uh, confidence in communicating with um, people who may not see eye to eye and overcoming some obstacles with that and also um, uh, by moving to different schools um, I've been put in situations where I could find it quite uncomfortable but I've actually found it easier to make friends and things like that than some people would. If you'd like to explore more about interview skills, there's loads more information on the resources section of my future, including more videos of interviews and examples of other types of questions. Don't forget, you can always contact us in the career service if you want more information or help. We also run regular interview practice sessions where we'll be given individual feedback about your approach.